What is the primary site for an intramuscular injection in an adult? Two options are deltoid muscle, vastus lateralis, gluteus maximus, or rectus femoris. The correct answer is A. That is deltoid muscle. Deltoid muscle is commonly used for intramuscular injections in adults due to its accessibility and sufficient muscle mass. Question number two. What needle length is generally used for intramuscular injection in adults? Two options are 1 by 2 inch that is half inch, 1 inch, 1 and half inches or 2 inches. The correct answer is 1 and half inches. One and half inch needle is typically used to ensure the medication is delivered into the muscle tissues effectively. Question number three. Which muscle is commonly used for intramuscular injection in infants? Two options are deltoid muscle, vastus lateralis, gluteus maximus, or rectus femoris. The correct answer is B that is vastus lateralis. The vastus lateralis is preferred for infants due to its size and the lower risk of nerve or vascular damage. Question number 4. What is the maximum volume? that can be injected into the deltoid muscle of an adult. Two options are 1 ml, 2 ml, 3 ml or 4 ml. The correct answer is B that is 2 ml. The deltoid muscle can comfortably hold up to 2 ml of medication without causing significant discomfort or tissue damage. Question number fifth. Which of the following is the common site for intramuscular injection in children? Two options are deltoid muscle, gluteus medius, vastus lateralis or rectus femoris. The correct answer is C that is vastus lateralis. The vastus lateralis is commonly used in children as it is well developed and avoids major nerves and blood vessels. Question number 6. What angle should the needle be inserted for an intramuscular injection? Two options are 15 degrees. 45 degrees, 60 degrees or 90 degrees. The correct answer is D that is 90 degrees. A 90 degree angle ensures the needle penetrates deep into the muscle tissue, ensuring proper delivery of the medication. Question number 7. Why is it important to aspirate? Means Pull back on the syringe plunger before injecting medication intramuscularly. The options are to check for muscle spam, to ensure the needle is not in a blood vessel, to mix the medication or to reduce pain. The correct answer is B. To ensure that the needle is not in a blood vessel. Aspiration helps confirm that the needle is not in a blood vessel, preventing accidental intravenous administration. Question number 8. Which of the following is a potential complication of an intramuscular injection? Two options are 
मसल हाइपरट्रॉफी नो डैमेज वेट गेन और हेयर लॉस द करेक्ट आंसर इज बी दट इज नो डैमेज इम्प्रॉपर टेक्निक और इनकरेक्ट साइड सेलेक्शन कैन रिजल्ट इन नो डैमेज कॉजिंग पेन और लॉस ऑफ फंक्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन वॉट इज द रिकमेंडेड साइट फॉर एन इंट्रामेस्क्यूलर इंजेक्शन इन द बटॉक रीजन जो ऑप्शन सर अपर आउटर कॉड्रेंट लोअर आउटर कॉड्रेंट अपर इनर कॉड्रेंट और लोअर इनर कॉड्रेंट द करेक्ट आंसर इज ए दट इज अपर आउटर कॉड्रेंट The upper outer quadrant of the buttock avoids the sciatic nerve, reducing the risk of nerve injury. Question number ten: How should the skin be prepared before administering an intramuscular injection? Two options are: apply ice, clean with soap and water. Clean with an alcohol swab, or no preparation needed. The correct answer is C. That is to clean with an alcohol swab. Using an alcohol swab helps disinfect the area, reducing the risk of infection. Question number eleven. Dear friends, welcome back to Dear Competitive Exam YouTube channel. Today you are attending. 100 most repeated and most important question answer session based on intramuscular injections that everyone must know who are in the medical and nursing field so do watch this video completely to make yourself more fit to answer any kind of question based on intramuscular injections and at the end if you find this video helpful then please do like subscribe and share this video to all your friends who are preparing for upcoming any kinds of medical exams let's continue what is the purpose of z track technique in intramuscular injection two options are to reduce pain to prevent leakage of medication into subcutaneous to prevent leakage of medication into subcutaneous tissue to increase absorption rate or to decrease absorption rate the correct answer is b that is to prevent leakage of medication into subcutaneous tissue the z track technique helps create a zigzag path which seals the medication in the muscle preventing leakage question number 12 for which medication is the z track method commonly used the options are insulin antibiotics iron supplements or vaccines the correct answer is c that is iron supplements the z track method is often used for iron injection to reduce skin staining and irritation Question number thirteen. What is the recommended intramuscular injection site for the hepatitis B vaccine in adults? Two options are gluteus maximus, deltoid muscle, vasitus lateralis, or rectus femoris. The correct answer is B. That is deltoid muscle. The deltoid muscle is the preferred site for hepatitis B vaccination in adults due to its accessibility and effectiveness. Question number 14 Which muscle is avoided for intramuscular injections due to the proximity of the sciatic nerve? Two options are gluteus maximus deltoid muscle vastus lateralis or rectus femoris the correct answer is a that is gluteus maximus 
The gluteus maximus is avoided to prevent injury to the sciatic nerve, which can cause severe pain and functional impairment. Question number 15. Which of the following is a common intramuscular injection site in adolescents? The options are deltoid muscle, vastus lateralis, gluteus medius or rectus femoris. The correct answer is A that is deltoid muscle. The deltoid muscle is commonly used in adolescents as it provides sufficient muscle mass for Effective medication delivery. Question number 16. What is the main advantage of intramuscular injection over subcutaneous injections? The options are less pain, faster absorption, lower cost, or easier administration. The correct answer is. B that is faster absorption. The intramuscular injection offer faster absorption due to the rich blood supply in the muscle tissues. Question number 17. What is the maximum volume that can be injected into the vastus lateralis muscle in adults? The options are 2 ml, 3 ml, 5 ml, or 10 ml. The correct answer is C that is 5 ml. The vastus lateralis can accommodate up to 5 ml of medication, making it suitable for larger volumes. Question number 18. Which of the following is a benefit of using the deltoid muscle for intramuscular injections? Two options are larger muscle mass, fever nose, easier access, or less blood supply. The correct answer is C that is easier access. The deltoid muscle is easily accessible, especially when patients are standing or sitting, facilitating quicker and simpler injection. Question number 20. What is the recommended needle gauge for intramuscular injection in adults? Two options are 18 to 20 gauge, 22 to 25 gauge, 26 to 28 gauge or 29 to 31 gauge. The correct answer is B that is 22 to 25 gauge. A 22 to 25 gauge needle is recommended for intramuscular injections to ensure the needle is strong enough to penetrate muscle tissues. Question number 20. Which muscle is preferred for intramuscular injection in obese patients? Two options are deltoid muscle, vastus lateralis, gluteus maximus or rectus femoris. The correct answer is B that is vastus lateralis. The vastus lateralis is preferred in obese patients as it is easier to locate and provides a larger target area for injection. Question number 21. Why is the dorsogluteal site less favored for intramuscular injection? Two options are limited muscle mass, risk of hitting the sciatic nerve, difficulty accessing the site or poor absorption rate. And the correct answer is B that is risk of hitting the sciatic nerve. The dorsogluteal site is avoided due to the high risk of damaging the sciatic nerve, leading to pain or complications. Question number 22. What is the recommended intramuscular injection site for infants under 12 months? Two options are deltoid muscle, 
vastus lateralis, gluteus maximus or rectus femoris? The correct answer is B that is vastus lateralis. The vastus lateralis is the preferred site in infants under 12 months because it is well developed and safe from major nose. Question number 23. Which of the following is a contraindication for intramuscular injection? Two options are muscle atrophy, obesity, hypertension, or diabetes. The correct answer is A that is muscle atrophy. The muscle atrophy reduces the muscle mass available for injection, increasing the risk of Indicate medication delivery and complication. Question number 24. Which muscle is recommended for intramuscular injection in children older than 3 years? Two options are deltoid muscle, vastus lateralis, gluteus maximus or rectus femoris. The correct answer is a that is deltoid muscle. The deltoid muscle is suitable for children older than 3 years as it becomes more developed and accessible for injection. Question number 25. What is the purpose of massaging the injection site after an intramuscular injection? Two options are to increase pain, to promote adsorption, to prevent infection or to decrease blood flow? The correct answer is B that is to promote absorption. Massaging the injection site helps distribute the medication more evenly within the muscle, promoting faster absorption. Question number 26. Which of the following is a common complication of intramuscular injections? The options are infection, weight loss, increased appetite or hair growth. The correct answer is A that is infection. Improper technique or lack of aspectic conditions can lead to infection at the injection site. Question number 27. Which muscle is not typically used for intramuscular injections? Two options are deltoid muscle, vastus lateralis, gluteus maximus or biceps brachii. The correct answer is D that is biceps brachii. The biceps brachii is not a typically used for is not typically used for intramuscular injections due to its smaller size and the Presence of imported nose and blood vessels. Question number 28. What should be done if blood is aspirated during an intramuscular injection? Two options are continue the injection, withdraw the needle and discard the syringe, inject the medication slowly, or Change the needle and re-inject. The correct answer is B that is withdraw the needle and discard the syringe. If blood is aspirated, it indicates the needle is not in a blood vessel. The needle should be withdraw and a new injection should be prepared to avoid intravenous administration. Question number 29. Which of the following is an advantage of the ventrogluteal site for intramuscular injections? Two options are larger muscle mass, fewer nerves, easier access, or less painful. The correct answer is B that is fewer nerves. The ventrogluteal site has fewer major nerves and blood vessels, reducing the risk of injury and complications. Question number 30. What is the recommended action 
if a patient experiences severe pain during an intramuscular injection two options are continue the injection pause and reassess inject faster or ignore the pain the correct answer is b that is pause and reassess the severe pain may indicate incorrect needle placement or complications pausing and reassessing can prevent further injuries question number 31 what is the maximum volume that can be injected into the deltoid muscle of an adolescent two options are 1 ml 2 ml 3 ml or 4 ml The correct answer is B that is 2 ml. The deltoid muscle can hold up to 2 ml of medication in adolescents ensuring effective delivery without excessive discomfort. Question number 32 Which of the following is an appropriate action to reduce pain during an intramuscular injection? Two options are inject slowly inject rapidly use a large gauge needle or use cold medication the correct answer is a that is inject slowly injecting slowly can reduce pain by allowing the muscle tissue to accommodate and medication gradually question number 33 which muscle is often used for intramuscular injections in adults with larger muscle mass two options are deltoid muscle vastus lateralis gluteus maximus or rectus femoris the correct answer is c that is gluteus maximus the gluteus maximus is suitable for adults with larger muscle mass due to its size and capacity to hold larger volume of medication question number 34 what is the primary reason for using the z track technique in intramuscular injections two options are to reduce pain to prevent skin straining to avoid medication leakage or to increase absorption rate The correct answer is C to avoid medication leakage. The Z track technique creates a zigzag path that traps the medication in the muscle, preventing it from leaking into subcutaneous tissues. Question number thirty-five. Which of the following is a common site for intramuscular injection in infants? Two options are deltoid muscle. vastus lateralis gluteus medius or rectus femoris the correct answer is b that is vastus lateralis the vastus lateralis is the preferred site in infants due to its size and reduced risk of nerve damage question number 36 what is the recommended action if a patient faints during an intramuscular injection two options are continue the injection pause and reassess inject faster or ignore the fainting the correct answer is b that is pause and reassess fainting may indicate a vasovagal response or other complications pausing and reassessing ensures patient's safety question number 37 which muscle is commonly used for intramuscular injection in athletes two options are deltoid muscle vastus lateralis gluteus maximus or rectus femoris The correct answer is C that is gluteus maximus. 
athletes often have well developed gluteus maximus muscle making it a suitable site for intramuscular injections question number 38 what is the maximum volume that can be injected into the gluteus maximus muscle in adults two options are 2 ml 3 ml 5 ml or 10 ml the correct answer is c that is 5 ml the gluteus maximus can hold up to 5 ml of medication making it suitable for larger volumes question number 39 what needle length is generally used for intramuscular injection in adults two options are 1 by 2 inch that is half inch 1 inch 1 and half inches or 2 inches the correct answer is 1 and half inches 1 and half inch needle is typically used to ensure the medication is delivered into the muscle tissues effectively deltoid muscle vastus lateralis gluteus maximus or rectus femoris the correct answer is b that is vastus lateralis the vastus lateralis is preferred in pregnant women as it is easily accessible and avoids the sciatic nerve which can be more vulnerable during pregnancy question number 41 so dear friends it is a time to comment your score so let us see what is your score out of 25 questions please comment your score and if the video was helpful then please comment your view on this video and do support us by liking and subscribing and sharing our channel our videos so thank you so much for watching and wish you good luck for your upcoming exams